What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fowler with my man, Eric Sheets Haber. We are going to be talking through today, Monday's MLB slate. Hope everybody had a good weekend. This is a little little sketchy internet for me, so uh, hopefully this works. And uh, we'll get through this slate. It's a fun little 10-gamer. Uh, I did not uh, I did well on Friday. Not, not, not Nothing special. did well on... Uh, uh, actually made a little money on golf, but had a chance in the uh, the two hundred dollars single entry. It didn't quite get there, um, which would have been a really really nice win, but uh, but still a little bit of profit. Starting to head maybe more in the right direction for me. Sheets, how was your weekend? And then we'll get into the slate. Yeah, I, I cashed in the uh, in the bigger buy, and I think it was yesterday um, in baseball. I had some good some good kind of like offbeat takes. I had Cleveland yesterday mm. um, as well with the, the Chicago and Cincy. Um, uh, so I finished okay there, played a whole bunch of sports or whatever it is. I think net net, I probably lost a little bit over the weekend, but, um, but overall just a good, good weekend of doing stuff. And, uh, I'm, I'm really, really in and out the next couple of days. Um, I'll do my best, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, and, uh, I'm ready to get after today. All right, let's do it. Let's pull up your screen and we'll go game by game here. Cause it's a. Uh... So I like this slate quite a bit. Uh, we got a lot of a lot of options and a lot of chalk that I think that we can find ways around. So we'll get into that as we go along. And let's see it up. There we go. And yeah, so basically uh, we got Sheets' early, early. Uh, there's, a, there's a really quick look at Sheets' early builds. I'll post my early builds a little later on today. Um, but Sheets, I guess, is there any overall thoughts you have on the slate? Because I think we're, you're going to see... I mean, the early projections for Cole have him. I can't even believe this. He's got a nine and a half K prop. Like I have not seen that in a really long time. Um, it's going to be massive chalk. And I think there's plenty of other guys you could go with if, if you want to, you know, we can certainly find reasons this year to fade Garrett Cole, although he does look to be pretty obviously the number one pitcher. Yeah. My, my, my overall look is similar. My overall look is that, um, is that Cole rate, rates to be the best play. And there's a whole bunch of guys you know, underneath him uh, that you could choose from as SP2. And usually when that happens to me, you're probably supposed to just take two of those other guys. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. And listen, I, I will say this, that if, if you do play Cole at 70% ownership or whatever he's going to be, and Tampa and Tampa gets to him for the 80th time, you're, you're really not allowed to complain. Okay. Right. Um, he's, they, he's been gotten by Tampa – so many times it seems right that that when he's been allegedly a lock um starting with i don't know if he's going to start or whatever his plays but and again this is my probably hallucination but it seems as though g man Choi hits a home run every single time <laughs> against cole That's it's probably right. only one you know no, what i mean no, but it just seems right. like a lot yeah. um so i will say this before we even get into it that if, if g man Choi is in the first part of the lineup and you don't play cole i would definitely throw him in in there with one of them um but uh that's uh that that's my overall view and i think that this i think that that the, there's a lot of different hitting options you can pick from here i don't think anybody really really stands out so i'm i'm, I'm very interested to hear what you have to say about all of that yeah i think it's i think it's going to be an interesting one like that and i'm going to try to marry myself to a few stacks that i really like and i've got some good ideas i think so we will get into Excellent. it uh starting off with chicago and washington uh, this is not a game where I think that you need to like initially my feeling is not wanting to do anything, but I think both pitchers have the upside to kind of, well, be considered at least, especially gray, just because we know he's high variance. I know that against this team, he ended up struggling in the sixth last time, but he had like a two hitter going into the, or the seventh, maybe it was, um, uh, I guess it was the sixth, but uh, I think, I think that they're both interesting enough but nothing that jumps out at me this is a game that i didn't have a ton of interest in on in any way um how about you um i hate to hate to derail for a minute but but uh i, I don't know why you maybe think of it by, by this speech um first of all i'd like to say that from the jo josiah gray you're you're now kind of and, and i'm kind of joining you we're, we're both kind of forced to play him every every day a little bit mm -hmm. um just, just until because he's just one of these days he's going to put up forty, <laughs> and yeah. and, uh, and we're we're not gonna we're not gonna it's it's not gonna happen without me having it. You know what I mean? Because you've spoken about him so often about that he's got upside, but he's got variance. These are the guys you want to play at low ownership, right? Um, so I'm just kind of locked into playing him, and so that when he comes in, we could just say, oh, good, cool, we had him. But the reason why I bring it up is kind of like in a negative way. I just have to I have to vent just a little bit, okay? Yeah. So I mentioned this, I mentioned this a couple of days ago, 
when I said that, you know, was it 60 years, 70 years ago, Bobby Thompson hit the home run to beat the Dodgers, right? Yeah. And 70 years ago, you're going to find now, 70 years since then, 500,000 people who claim they were at the game, right? Mm -hmm. um, and even though it holds 30,000. Similarly, last week, I mentioned that of my, of like, say, the thousand people I follow on Twitter, probably 3,000 of them bet Tom Kim somehow. God knows how that was possible, right? <laughs> right. This week, it's the exact same with Zalator's, with Zalator's, literally the exact same. Yeah. Every single person in the United States of America, apparently, bet Zalatoris. Okay. Right. Don't don't believe your screenshot. You know what I mean? Like, yep. don't believe everything you see. And remember, just just remember that whoever posts had it. You know what I mean? Like you won't see all the people who didn't have them come come up there. So don't feel as though you missed out every single week on something that was like such a lot to happen. All right. Yep. Um, all right. Anyway, moving forward. Um yep. I do think that both of these pitchers, as you mentioned, are with well within the realm of that group of SP2s that I that I alluded to earlier. Um, that if you play Cole, I'm not going to argue with any of these guys. Um, Josiah Gray being one, Stroman being the other. I, I I I would say, as you've kind of mentioned, I think Josiah Gray probably has more upside. Yep. Um, but certainly nothing wrong with Stroman at 7,200. You know, so, so I, I think both these guys are in play. I don't think I have it in me to play both of these guys mm -hmm. um, together in one of those types of lineups, no, 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 yeah. unless you give me some some umpire thing or something. So so I think both these guys are sort of in play. Um, I am not quite. I shouldn't say that. I, I think that for all the reasons we just mentioned, I think you can get to the Cubs a little bit. You know what I mean? Just 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 for fun, in case you get the other Josiah Gray game. Mm -hmm. Um so I think you could get the Cubs a little bit. Certainly not a priority, but um, yeah, that's about what I got. I got I got both pitchers sort of in play, Cubs sort of in play, but none of it is really a priority. Yep, and uh, for what it's worth, I, I think that the you know you have the the really big spend ups for the Cubs, and then you've got three really cheap bats too in McKinstry, Ortega, and Reyes. If you wanted to that help you fill out a stack, even if you wanted to pay up for pitching, so I I, I don't mind that at all. I didn't get to it in my early builds, but I, I have no problem with it. All right, let's talk about your Yankees and uh, and and Tampa Bay here. Um, at, look, Cole is clearly going to rate as the best play on the slate. It is kind of it, I'm telling you, it is really weird to see that nine and a half K, K prop that I'm looking at right now. I just I, I don't. That's I'm, ridiculous, right? I, I'm not used to seeing that ever for anybody. And we've seen certainly Garrett Cole have like his struggles at times. So I do have Cole as you know the top obvious pitcher but i don't think that you have to play him i do think that there is a, he obviously i think he's the most upside along with otani um and i think you could play those guys together in certain lineups if you wanted to and then on the hitting side i i i first of all don't mind any idea if you want to play a, a Choi one-off against cole and on the yankee side you're gonna have two lefties it's it's gonna be a bullpen-ish game with beaks and yarborough um but lefty two lefties where you have an affordable Josh Donaldson Trevino who might be up in the order every they bat, they batted him seventh a couple times against lefties recently um, to go with Aaron judge, maybe more of a mini stack for me because the Yankees haven't exactly been lighting the world on fire, but I do think that this is a, a viable stack uh, again, not one that I got to that I thought was a top priority as, as Tampa Bay has got two decent lefties out there and, and, a, and a pretty decent, and a, not a pretty decent, a really good bullpen behind them. But I, I think the Yankees are certainly viable, especially considering that outside of judge, I don't think anybody's going to be owned. How about you? I would say that um, some percentage of Cole's games um, you're not going to be happy with mm -hmm. in this on the in this uh, in this spot. I think some of them you would be kind of happy with, but there, there's there there are guys on the slate that can score from a pitching perspective. Um, so it's not as if it's and you know what? Maybe I, I feel this. I don't know. Again, maybe I'm hallucinating, but. Whenever Cole is pitching, it seems as though there are no there are no other options. Usually, it seems as though it's Cole and then like nobody else. There there are guys that can put up numbers on this slate today. Um, uh, if things break their way, so I don't know. I mean, he's certainly the best play. I mean, for nine and a half K prop, I mean, it's just kind of hard to dispute that, right? Um, yeah. um It is a little I'm weird when when I think eleven out of his last fourteen games he hasn't had more than nine strikeouts, so it's kind of strange to see the number, but. Yeah, I hear you. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say this also. The Yankees have been playing like shit, um, and, and they, could, they could use a win. Let's put it that way. Um, yeah. 
And they're going to win. We usually win against a team like this. Um, so, uh, I mean, he's going to be in there. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, he's going to be in there. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a, he should probably be 12 K. I mean, for real in the spot at least. So yeah, I, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, I think it's, I think he is, he is the best pitcher on the slate. Um, with respect to, by the way, I also think that again, maybe I'm just, I over-respect these guys, but I look at it like who Tampa's throwing at them and they get the beaks followed by the yard, bro. This is like just the ultimate, like Tampa Bay, just freaking yeah. trick trick analytics game that like, you know, that you want to play them plus like three to one against the Yankees in this spot. You know what I mean? Like, or like, yeah, yeah I hear or, you. Or like, or like plus one and a half runs. They'll bat at Rosarena seventh. And then you're like, what is he doing that for? Next thing you know, the base will be loaded with nobody out with him coming to the plate. You're like, what the hell just happened? You know what I mean? So um, uh, with that said, uh, Tampa, uh, I mean, Yankees, I like, uh, excuse me, uh, Cole, I like a lot. I'm not messing with, I'm not messing with the Yankees. They haven't hit the ball in a while. And I think Tampa is going to throw the kitchen sink at them. You know what I mean? This game. So uh, uh, that's pretty much all I have. Yep. I got you. Um, Well, let's, uh, let's jump over to uh, Toronto and Baltimore. Uh, this is maybe my favorite overall game for offense on both sides. I think Kikuchi is look, if you want to take that chance at 5,800, it's certainly reasonable at 5,800. I could actually make the same argument for Bradish at 5,500, by the way, I don't think it's a huge gap. I like Bradish's future. Um, I don't think this is an ideal matchup for him, but I would say that like Kikuchi's had two starts against uh, Baltimore this season. He's given up five home runs in a total of nine innings. They lit him up last week. I like the Baltimore. I like the Baltimore value, and I like the Blue Jays' big bat. So I, I really like this whole game in, in in general, and they are two of my my stacks that I like. Maybe Baltimore, you could argue for a mini stack instead of a full stack, but I have no problem with a full stack either uh, of both these teams. And I think Baltimore at at zero ownership, uh, it just I can't. I mean, it's we've seen them consistently good for too long, um, and I think that we sh- we shouldn't ignore it, especially when we've got four guys at 2,300 or lower, a couple guys at 3,300 and 3K and 3,600 that I will all, I'll play all those guys. And then, then you get the payups for Rushman or Santander. And uh, I, I have no problem with, with stacks of both of these sides of this game. And I, at the same time, it's weird to say that because uh, Kikuchi does have a five and a half K prop, which I don't know why it's as high as it is. Um, but I think that uh, you just certainly could consider both pitchers, even though I like I, I'm not going to. If I'm going to spend down today, I don't think I'm going below seven K. But I think that this is these are really viable stacks. I have a dumb question. I only mention this because um, I want to spend a little more time with this. I'm not going to be around a little later. Um, did, did I did I dismiss um, the Yankees too quickly as an option? Um, uh, I, I think that they're an option. I think that they're a legitimate option. But I, I, they're not. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at them as no worse than a lot of these teams, and they're not going to be owned. I don't think. Um, well, outside of judge, I agree with you. I, I, I was, I was just staring at my board because, because I have Toronto rated kind of similarly to Yankees. Like I have, I have, um, and we'll get to them. But I have Houston, LA, like kind of near the top. Yeah. Then right up Toronto and the Yankees. You know. Um. So anyway, uh, with that said, I, I, I do like Toronto here a little bit. Um. And the Kikuchi thing, it's weird. You know, if, 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 um, I mean, Kikuchi always shows up as a good point per dollar play and he always seems to get rocked. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> it's um, I, 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 I kind of agree with you. You know, if, if you can, you, this could be kind of a weird old game stack here. You know, you play both these, both sides of this, like you mentioned. And I mean, God forbid Kikuchi comes popular somehow. I um, think it might be. It's just that Cole's kind of like in a weird way cheap. You know what I mean? Like I think you could yeah. pair him with, the, with some of the other guys. You know, that's what I would but, think is the right thing to do. But I do think people will see that price and they just can't help themselves. I know, I know. Um, I mean, he does rate as a good point per dollar play. I will say that. Um, but I think I think a sharper play is exactly what you said. I mean, you, you play both sides of the offense here, um, both Toronto and Baltimore. Baltimore's not going to project well, so they're going to be lower owned. And if God forbid Kikuchi gets some steam, Baltimore will have the leverage too. I I really I really do like both sides of this side. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's where I'm at too. So I I love it, and I think we can get Baltimore really low on. So I'm excited about that. Um, let's talk about the uh, the next game, which which is uh, the, the Mets in Atlanta. Uh, this is a weird one because I I look I love I just think Strider is always an awesome like tournament play. Yeah. Sure, he's a, he's got into as good a K stuff as anybody. Um, I think Carrasco has certainly shown that he's a better pitcher than, than people give gave him credit for uh, coming into the season. 
And I, I'm going to play a little Strider. I don't think I'm going to play any Carrasco, which may, which worries me a little bit. Cause I think he's actually got upset against his Atlanta offense. But what I, I really think is if you want to, if, if you're playing lottery type of things, both of the side, both, I could make a good case for both of these teams. It's 87 degrees in Atlanta. The wind's blowing out. You've got two, two pitchers who, while both are really talented, they definitely have a range of outcomes. And we just saw that with uh, Strider against this team the other day. I mean, they, they, he didn't get, make it out of the, the what it was the second inning. Oh, no, he made it, he get, made it, didn't make it out of the third inning and they were just sort of all over him. So I, uh, I, I think you could make a, a, a reasonable case for both of these lineups as really large field contrarian type of type of stacks. Um, but I, uh, I don't, it's, it, nothing in this game is a priority for me. Uh, I, though I do think I'll have Strider probably with the field, which I'm guessing is going to be around 25%. I don't know, you know, like Strider's got kale upside, but, but, but I, I'm looking at these, these run lines. I mean, the Atlanta's projected a full run pretty much more than the Mets. And there was Atlanta like a big favorite in this game somehow. I mean, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, only minus 152, but like, but even still, I mean, like Strider, yeah. I mean, he's, he's a cool, like, like DFS toy, you know what I mean? But I, I yeah. think the Mets could, you know, I think the Mets have good win equity against him. You know, I don't totally know. Agree. Um, totally agree. So uh, I, I kind of recommend the Mets on the money line today. Um, so, uh, and Carrasco's fine. You know, I, I don't know. And, and if, if you somehow you get a Kuna not to play again, you know, whatever. Um, certainly doesn't hurt. Yep. So uh, I, uh, I agree with you about Strider. He's certainly in play. He's always in play because he could strike 10 guys out. I don't know the last time 10 Mets struck out, um, <laughs> which is kind of hard. Uh, so right. I don't know. If, if Strider becomes 20, like you said, 20, 25%. It's got that upside, but it's kind of rough. If you're going to play Cole and him, you take an ownership on both these, those guys. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right way to do it. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, he certainly rates as a decent, you know, SP2. Um, I am not quite getting to – boy, oh, boy. The thing about the Mets, if I want to play the Mets, is they don't – they don't usually put up a whole bunch of runs either. You know, So, I don't know. I'm, you're all I'm probably going to be – I don't want to say off this game. Oh, uh, okay. I'm probably going to be off this game with the exception of probably playing some Strider. But I think the Strider lineups is probably going to be without Cole for some reason. I think that's mm -hmm. what I'm going to end up doing. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, yeah, and and like we we know we know the Mets that Atlanta can always go off at any time, and this is a big series for them. So I think that you'll see Acuna yeah. in their best foot forward probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, that this is a this is now this game I actually am going to be worried a little bit about some ownership. I don't buy the early things. I, I just know what happens when you face a lefty like Bubich against the twins. Uh, you're going to have like, like Buxton is going to stand out as a tremendous play as is uh, for me, Miranda um, that right early on, they're not looking at it to be so to be solo owned, but I, I do like, I, I like the twins. They're my other, my next favorite stack along with the uh, Toronto. Well, Toronto and them would probably be if I had to pick two right now. Um, but I also really like the, I think Joe Ryan is, you know, look, he's had some ups and downs, but he's not a whole lot different than these other guys. You're going to, you know, a, a better version of Josiah Gray is how I would describe him. And he's cheaper and he's going to be a really, really good pitcher. He's had some tough matchups. You can't blame him for getting lit up by the Dodgers. Although he didn't, even, didn't not, not really light him up, but they, you know, they put some runs together against him. They had nine hits in that game. Uh, he's a pretty decent, he's got pretty decent control for these young guys. And I think you're looking at like often you're going to see 25 out of them here. And I think often you're going to see like five. Um, but I am uh, I am on Minnesota and Joe Ryan as of right now, as Joe Ryan is one of my spend down uh, pitchers. I really hope that uh, those of you that are watching this are not watching this for the first time because you're really going to get the wrong idea of the kind of the dynamic between Bobby and me, because Bobby and I almost never end up with the same guys, you mm -hmm. know, but I'm, I'm really in the same same. Uh, Lock, we're really lockstep today and we didn't talk about this beforehand i kind of like minnesota as one of my top stacks also um i think i have minnesota and toronto as two of the top ones also and, and i have joe ryan has literally rated my number two overall pitcher um right behind cole um given everything else you know what i mean all the prices and all that stuff um so yeah I, I'm, I'm 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 on board with that but it's like really funny i i, I couldn't i couldn't help myself to, to comment on this about uh about bubic casey in general so over the weekend, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't push the button. But Saturday, the Dodgers won, put up like 400 runs, right? Yeah. And the following thing happened: first, I got a notification from DraftKings that Dodgers have won 12 in a row, having putting 12 runs up. 
And then, then Bobby with his usual, you know, mid-season rant about how awesome the Dodgers are and they're not going to win the World Series because, and it's not fair because the Dodgers are like the greatest team and they're not going to win because of the way the World Series has worked. I'm like, dude, I really want to bet Kansas City today. And I just couldn't do it. <laughs> Kansas City shut them out <laughs> on Sunday. It was kind of funny. Yeah. Um, but uh, that's the only reason I'm looking at Bubik here on the board. <laughs> I don't, don't, look, that, don't look too much in our Discord or, or in, in chat because I, I, on Twitter – all I see is the Dodgers never do anything. They always do this. And now they're so overrated. And I'm like, yeah. well, in what way are they overrated exactly? They, every team is going to have a bad game here and there. But I just thought that I, I actually right, don't disagree. Right, right. I mean, those winning streaks are going to come to an end. You're going to have a bad day at the plate. And Brady Singer was right. absolutely awesome. Right. Um, right. Yeah. Anyway, I, I think that's Any, pretty- anyway. Anyway, we're on the same page there. Uh, Minnesota, Ryan. I like both that. Both yep. of those. And then, uh, so jumping over to, to the Oakland-Texas game, I think Texas is going to be another team. There's some really weird price. Like, Marcus Simeon is 2.4 on FanDuel for some reason. I have no idea why that happened. And you've got some some value plays you could, could, could combine into a stack, which I think is going to make Texas another one of the more popular teams. I have them a little lower than some of my other – my, some of my other favorites, but I do have some Texas stacks. So I would have, I would have Toronto and Minnesota ahead, but Texas would probably be behind them. And I still like the Baltimore side too, but uh, that's, that's getting, you know, really, really low ownership. I, I think that you have a nice stack here. And again, Caprillion has been pretty good, but he's been, seems like he's been facing the angels every day. Um, and then uh, pitching wise, I, I'm not going to play Glenn Otto at 5,600. I do think that it's, it's not the worst thing in the world. If you wanted to do it's this, it's not a whole lot different than the Kikuchi play. And it, uh, this is a better matchup than the Kikuchi has. So I would, uh, I wouldn't have any fault you for doing it. Although I'm not finding the need to get to auto. How about you? Are you going to go back to the games? Kansas city thing for a second? Yeah, go ahead. I want to go back to the Kansas city thing for just a second. Um, the other thing I would mention about this game, uh, why Ryan, I think is a good place, even though the hitting didn't, didn't really like show up, whatever. That was a big, that was a big home win for Kansas city against the Dodgers yesterday. And now they're traveling the next day, going to Minnesota. You know what I mean? This is a, this is a, this is the time you probably want to lean on Minnesota anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, the other, but but before I, I, I leave that game, I, I I can't help but 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 comment that be, well, it's because Michael Taylor and Hunter Dozier are like so cheap. Those guys are pretty freaking cheap, Kansas City. Um, if you if you needed to fill in some 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 stacks with cheap guys. Pascantino, Taylor, Prado, Isabel, Dozier. I mean, these guys are all, and you you could even make the case for for a Kansas City stack, even though I like Ryan or whatever. Yeah. Um, only because this is what I'm looking at on my board. Um, as far as Oakland and Kansas, and Prado, City, you could play Pascantino and Prado for a combined 4100. You've got power upside, and then you can, and you all you do right. is and, and Taylor with, for add another two K. Yeah, you got Perez, Salvador Perez, and Bobby Witt. Like, I mean, this is, there's a lot you can go like to like about KC if you don't want to do the, the Ryan thing. What one other thing, by the way, is that Michael Taylor, just so you guys know, did get pinch hit for the other day. Um, now they were get they were getting smoked. Okay, mm-hmm. I think um, that was when the Dodgers were killing him. I think. Yeah. Um, but just to let you guys know, um, now Texas Oakland, I I have Otto in there as an SP two. Mm-hmm. I mean. Well, you know what? I mean, you just every streams against Oakland every game. You know what I mean? So these these guys are always going to show up. So um, who's going to be higher own, if anybody? Like him or Kikuchi? Kikuchi. Um, probably, right? I think um, Kikuchi. I, I say that too. it's early in the day, so maybe I shouldn't jump to that. Knows? But I, I would guess. I don't think they're, they're going to play any of these guys, honestly. I, don't I think, think they need to. I think they're going to play Cole and Castillo and just move on with their day, I think. But we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, so uh, I I do see Texas as as kind of like a, a value here, um, but I mean I'm not going to stamp you know chump over everybody to play them. Um, you could play obviously you could always play Corey Seager. Um, who else is on this team? Seager, Seager low Seager low Garcia Simeon and Josh Smith who's two K probably leading off today and then you got you know tell you who else made me made me some fantasy points. Um, this Bubba Thompson guy, um, I think he had a stolen base from me the other day or something. Uh, let me yeah. see. Yeah, well, a f- few days ago, whatever. It's always it's hard okay. to go uh-huh. for the nine hitter against the n- versus the number one hitter in a stack. Okay. For me. Okay. W- unless it's going to be yeah, to, get, to get different, but I I hear you though. I think that's reasonable. Yeah. So so I don't know if I'm gonna I'm gonna I don't know if I'll, I would get to Texas too much. Um, I got this other team that I'm getting to for some reason. So we'll get to that in a minute. Um, 
yeah. So for me, if I have to play auto, I probably will in a few lineups. But aside from that, nothing, nothing to priority here. Yeah, I hear you. Um, uh, let's so so talking about the uh, the next game, the Dodgers and and uh, and Milwaukee. I, no, I I got I got Houston. I got Houston Chicago. I, wait, wait, wait. I got Houston Chicago. That's my fault. Um, all right, let's jump to Houston Chicago. Uh, I don't think Arkitty is going to have ownership today. I pro- and I initially didn't like want to go there. But then I look at like just what the White Sox have done against righties. And it's hard yeah. not to say that yeah. he belongs completely in the mix here, um, especially because that ownership is going to go to Strider in that price range. And I think our kitty yeah. has plenty of upside here. He's, I mean, struck out 10 against Boston a couple starts back, had a, had a nine strikeout game a few games before that. He has, he's, he's got some variance in him, but these White Sox don't seem to hit any righties. So I don't mind a, a little bit of or kitty and I don't mind a little bit of the, uh, the Houston lineup, but I'm not quite as high in Houston as I think the field might end up being. Well, all, all I'll just say is again, I, I'm still steamed by this white Sox bases loaded, nobody out against Granky with one, two, three coming up. They got zero runs. Okay. <laughs> um, three righties just all got owned by Zach Granky. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I, 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 totally think that our going to be one of those guys that projects for zero and nobody plays and he's just completely in play. Yeah. <laughs> he just has to be. Yeah. Um, and for those other reasons you said, I mean, you have all these other guys in the range that are going to just take this kind of ownership, you know, um, Houston is probably the most popular. That's, that's what I have right now. Um, and they rate sort slightly the highest, but not by that much. Um, Quato, I don't know. I mean, I, he's he's never been the kind of guy that that I like to to stack against with chalk. You know what I mean? Like, right. I I don't know. So I, I don't know if I really want to do that. But I mean, all these guys look good. I mean, obviously Tucker and Alvarez, uh, Guriel. I mean, Guriel Myers. I mean, just just name it. I mean, the Houston's kind of you know they can they can put on whoever. Mm-hmm. But if they come up too chalky. I, I'll go elsewhere. But they look pretty. They do look pretty good. Yeah, especially the lefties. He got like some some pretty significant wind blowing out a uh, twelve miles an hour uh, to right, and I I, th- I think that they're 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 definitely viable. It's just not not my favorite stack, and I don't want to spread out too thin. So I'm more be using pieces. I do like Alvarez and Tucker uh, the best, uh, and I'll probably just do maybe a Houston mini stacks, especially if they stay popular. All right. Uh, we'll talk about the aforementioned Dodgers. Uh, the the guy who's getting, you know, you're not going to get any ownership on him again. He's just a really, really, really good pitcher um, is Arias. And he is, I mean, he might get a little bit of ownership, but if you wanted to do something different uh, to play him, I mean, he's been, he's been consistently good and Milwaukee has a high range of outcomes team in general. So I have I, I might throw your Arias into a lineup or two, but he's certainly not a priority. And then the Dodgers are it's an interesting spot because you're basically getting some innings of Peralta. He did he did pitch a little bit more uh, as he's sort of working his way back. Who, who is a guy I actually respect quite a bit as a pitcher. Any hard throwing righty though against the Dodgers is often a bad a recipe for disaster. And you also aren't going to have him at his full strength, but that means you get probably the best version of him for like four or five innings. And then you have a bullpen that's pretty damn good behind him. It's still the Dodgers. Uh, if they, I, this is going to be an ownership dictated one for me. I'm going to have some ownership on the Dodgers, especially on on uh, Muncie and uh, Turner. I'm sorry, on Betts and Turner. But I think that the Dodgers are are, are really, uh, you know, always a great low owned stack. Uh, Joey Gallo had a mammoth home run the other night. Cody Bellinger's at three home runs his last three. Oh, games. good for him! I didn't see that after we talked about that. That's great. Yeah, he crushed one. I didn't <laughs> um, even notice. That's awesome. Smile. Um, but but yeah, so the Dodgers and and as as usual with the Dodgers, there is not a way I could recommend stacking this team because you can really go one through nine, and I have no issue with anybody, including Bellinger in the nine hole. Um, so I, I think the Dodgers are a really good low, really good stack as long as they stay low owned. If even if you're not stacking them, I do think Betts and uh, Betts and Turner, along with possibly Will Smith, are all uh, arguably one of the top, if not the top players, their positions. All right, I want to talk about this um, for a little bit. So the Dodgers, just for the numbers, uh, they rate to be the second best overall stack and and not really have, you know, a significant amount of ownership. Um, I mean, they're they're going to be owned as usual, but whatever. 
And the other thing I will mention is Peralta. I have him rated just on projections as like, you know, right in the mix of, of SP twos in general. Right. So I want to talk about this for a second. Um, this Freddie Peralta business. Um, so Milwaukee traded Josh Hader. Right. Um, uh, and, and, when I played Milwaukee a couple of week a week or so ago, and, and they they were pinch hitting guys. They were like doing some funny stuff, you know, whatever it is. Um, but but I will say this: I, he he pitched what 65, 65, whatever he pitched. Yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly what what they're doing, or, or what their plans are because they they wrote, remember not saying anything. But if if they decide that the Dodgers are coming to town and Peralta is just for whatever reasons as all systems go, you're gonna want him at eighty one hundred. Um, yeah, interesting. I didn't, you know, didn't you really just, you're just going to. I mean, you get I, who knows what they. I don't know what Milwaukee's doing. You know, well, he's coming and, back from an injury only on his third start, and he's the I guy. They have a lot of equity in in the future. I, I get hard. no, that's t- I totally understand. You know, but yeah. he's but he's not 9,500. You know, and um, and he's going to be very low owned. I imagine. Oh, he'll unless, be unless they do something stupid like announce that he has no pitch restrictions or something like that. <laughs> then I, I don't. Geez, I don't think even if they announce he's throwing out all those pitches, I don't think anybody's playing him. Right? Because you well, listen, and 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 Milwaukee. You know, I don't know what their attendance like. Whatever. The Dodgers are coming to town. They don't come to town too often. The Dodgers are the best team in baseball. They've got a long history of playoffs versus each other. Per, Peralta is like, it's okay. Listen, I did the right thing. I pitched my sixty-five. I pitched my sixty-five. It's the fucking Dodgers. Let me go. I don't know, man. <laughs> if, if they decide, okay, no problem. If you're pitching well. He's going to be a guy that you're going to want at 8,100. So I, I, I'm going to play him. Uh, I'm not probably going to play my big buyer or something like that, but I'm definitely getting some slivers. And and I'm for, and for all the other reasons, I definitely am going to get the Dodgers. Okay. Cause if, if Peralta is not pitching well and, and well, listen, when Peralta doesn't pitch well, it's because he's not really finding the plate. You know what I mean? Right. Um, and the Dodgers are pretty, they're not going to, you know, they're not, they're not stupid. They're not going to, they're not going to like make it easy for Peralta to get his five, six innings. You know what I mean? Like they'll make him work. So if you get to a, what might be a worse Milwaukee bullpen than it was on the earlier side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want all these Dodgers. <laughs> um, so yeah. I, I, I like, I like, I like the Dodgers a lot. I like, I like the Peralta as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a punt, I guess that's the best I can describe it. Um, I don't know if I could do a at 9,600, but, but um, he's definitely, I mean, I can't say that he's a better pitcher than Cole, but, but I could argue it. <laughs> I could certainly argue it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's where I'm in this game. I think it's a, it's a pretty uh, interesting game. Yep. Yep. It is definitely. Um, all right. Let's talk about the the pitching that I think is going to be the Ooh, other really? chalk. Yeah. Look you've got that. Castillo and Otani. Um, it's got a six and a half run total for these teams. Uh, Castillo would be my pre- preference uh, off the bat, just because of how inept yeah. the Angels have been. I don't, I don't mind at all Otani. I do have some Otani Cole lineups. It wasn't that hard to do uh, with some of the value that I like from Baltimore, et cetera. Um, but I, uh, I, I like both pitchers. I, I have them rated number two and number three behind Cole, uh, and just in terms of overall production. And then I have. Uh, I have a the only hitting interest I have in this game is I'll just keep saying Mitch Haniger at thirty eight hundred is way too cheap for his talent. Yeah, I don't mind Seattle actually here um, a little bit. Not 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 a priority, but I, I'm getting some and and Otani. You know, I I would prefer it if uh, if if there was no coal on the slate. You know, I prefer it if Otani was was a was huge chalk. You know, yeah, which he won't be today. I, he, he just won't be. Right. Um, but you won't have any ownership on Seattle either. So. That's good. That's too. true too. So, so, but I, I, I'll try that. And uh, I, I agree. I, I, I like the Castillo side. I mean, the Angels are just are just woeful right now. Yep. Um. And listen, it's not can't really. Uh, I don't like to bet on guys off of ceiling performances, but that was pretty freaking sick <laughs> against the Yankees. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh. Right. And yeah, listen, he's he's up, he's over twenty fantasy points every game. So it's been consistent. Yep. He's throwing 100 plus pitches every game against the maybe the worst hitting team in baseball. Who knows? Yeah, um, this is probably a five way tie for that. Um, <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, I think Castillo is really really strong. I think Castillo Cole is going to be the chalk pairing. Um, and uh, well, Castillo or Strider. I guess I guess Castillo has to be more owned against the freaking Angels than Strider against the Mets, right? I mean, I would mm-hmm. I would imagine. Well, who knows? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, an interesting one for sure. Um, I, I think it's I think it's going to be close between those two. I don't know how it's going to end up. Um, All right. If you didn't like any of that, okay, you know what you're going to do. Here. I just want. I just want to. Go ahead. I know. I, I just. I just want to say a couple of things. First of all, is that people stack against Bumgarner every game, except apparently it's not going to be in this game. Um, I don't know why. Um, so I don't even know what they're projecting at, but it probably is not going to look that great if I'm not seeing them show up right now. So I would definitely take a shot at San Francisco. It's probably really warm there. It's probably like over 55 today in San Francisco. Yeah, it's Maybe uh, like it up to 60. I don't know. It's hard, hard to 56, say. 56, which is like, I mean, that's 60. like a heat wave. They might cancel the game because of heat stroke issues. I don't know. <laughs> um, and I don't I don't know why I'm not going to do it, but you saw my bills. I'm getting these, getting to Arizona for some reason. I, I have no clue why. Yeah. Um, but I'll have to look into that. But if, if that's the case, I mean, hey, <laughs> who's going to play this game? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I still like to think that people are going to play San Francisco just because people always play against Bumgarner to some degree, except those ga those days where he's 25% owned like a couple of days ago. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, a low, low, low owned spot. I mean, this is certainly not the greatest, greatest situation, but I'll play both these teams. Interesting. Yes, yeah, so I actually like Cobb. Um, he struggled okay. specifically with Arizona this season, so oh really, it's worth. Oh, but he's been good lately. Um, and I've got. By the way, I do have Cobb as one of the SP twos on my list as well. Yeah, and, and he and I think that if you wanted to go with the contrarian build with some upside, you could play a Cobb Ryan lineup that gets you. Oh um, yeah, there you, you go. Want. And I, I do want to yeah. point out, even though I'm not, I'm not stacking Arizona today. I do think Emmanuel Rivera, at as long as he's still batting near the top of the order at 2300, is a guy I'm definitely going to have some exposure to. Uh, just a, maybe my favorite one-off play um, of everybody. Uh, he's got like sneaky good power. Is it, you know, he's hit three home runs the last three games. He's hit four in the last week. Um, and I think this is a, a spot he could certainly, he could certainly hit one out. I also think on the other side, uh, Wilmer Flores and JD Davis will stand out as plays. Just keep in mind, uh, Flores will probably stay in the game. Uh, even, you know, he probably is less likely to get pinch hit for. Oh, Austin Slater, I guess, would fit that category too. So I think I think Arizona will get a tiny bit of ownership with those guys. So I mean, sorry, say San Francisco. Um, and look, I mean, look, you know, it's, it's, it, we could talk Bumgarner revenge all we want. I, I don't think I'm going to play any Bumgarner. I do think that some of these bats are more filler pieces for me. I don't think I'm actually going to use it as a stack. But Slater, Flores, and Davis all are really, you know, they're ch cheap enough and they've got power upside against Bumgarner. So I like those three the best. If I had to pick anybody, um, yeah. So. Good. I mean, I guess so overall, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of things you could do, um, uh, which is not usually the case in baseball, but I, I think that, I mean, not usually the case. I mean, even pitching wise, I mean, I could I, I'm probably going to end up wimping out and playing Cole somebody, but it's not, it's probably, well, I'll say this, if it's, if it's, and when I say who I'm going to play, it's going to be, I, I'm, I'm referring to like the big buy and where I concentrate on the hand build stuff, you know, with, right. the, with, with the MME stuff, I'll, I'll run my stuff, run through Sabres and make a couple of tweaks and, and YOLO. You know what I mean? But when it comes to, but when it comes to like the big buy is when I'm not really focusing on what I'm doing is like, if I'm going to play Cole Castillo or Cole Strider or even Castillo Strider, it's going to be with some funky stuff. You know what I mean? It's yeah. going to, I don't, can you even get away with, with Minnesota? Are they going to be too chalky? I'm um, a, I, I think they might be a little more popular than people who have them. Slated. Yeah. 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 So I don't know where, where I would end up going stacks wise. Um, maybe that's when I would play that late game or something like that. Maybe that's where I'd play this, uh, like a San Francisco, Arizona wild stack with those two. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, but, but as usual, you know, don't play, don't play Cole with, don't play Cole with uh, another chalk pitcher with chalk. Um, what's your favorite of the, of the, like the Bobby builds? When I say that, I mean, the, the two cheapo pitchers who are your favorite, like non coal yeah. pairings. You think? I, I, I do have the, uh, I mean, Castillo and uh, Ryan Castillo. And uh, I actually have some Castillo and or, or kitty um, as okay. my really weird ones. And then there's the Cobb Ryan um, and then Otani Castillo as well uh, would be the, the, the ways oh, I, I, I got, I think, I think I have the one though. I think, What's the I one? think Think we got to go back to uh to josiah i'll take a shot with josiah gray for yeah. sure there's no way that's not going to happen at least a little bit yeah uh, josiah x like josiah with no some no coal right um, that, well, how about this ready for all the cheese if i can get the josiah gray freddie peralta pairing home then then we're then we're in business yeah 
I think that I, 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 you could stack whoever you want, pick, play the most right. popular players, and you will definitely be unique anyway. Yes, <laughs> what are you right. gonna, nobody's going to do right. that. Um, right. I have the stacks rated today. Uh, Toronto, Baltimore, again, is sort of a lot of its pieces and maybe a mini stack, but I do like Baltimore. Um, but I think Toronto, Minnesota, Texas, then the Dodgers are my favorite full stacks. And my favorite pitchers are Cole, I mean, Otani Castillo, but I also really like the Joe Ryan like you mentioned, Josiah Gray, Cobb, and Urquidy to get different, depending on how high the ownership gets on the other guys. Yep. And stats-wise for me, again, uh, really don't know who's going to be popular, but Minnesota I like a lot. Um, I liked uh, Toronto. I'm going to I'm gonna revisit the Yankees, maybe. Mm -hmm. And this Arizona thing, I, 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 don't, I don't really know if I'm actually going to do that. Um, and the Dodgers, obviously. You know, so. Yeah. The Dodgers, I mean, you know, I do think the Dodgers, Yankees, and Toronto, you could sort of argue for every day. Although the Yankees lately yeah. definitely yeah. sort of put a damper on that thing. But yeah, I, I'm with you. Um, anyway, guys, I'll be live at six. Uh, she yeah. will be out. So uh, so let's 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 make some money. And um, yep. you know, and uh, yeah, hopefully somebody can take something down. We'll be in Discord all day. So pop in any questions. Pop them into the general chat. I get a lot of DMs lately asking what I would do, but I think it starts a better conversation if we ask it in the general chat. On the our general or me in the MLB? The MLB, sorry, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MLB chat, like yeah. So, so Bobby, I'm, 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 you know, I'm away, but I'm around. You know what I mean? So okay. text me if you need me or whatever it is, and okay. uh, I'll catch up to you later. Sounds good, buddy. Good luck to everybody, and we'll see you uh, tonight.